Well, a good Sunday morning to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome everyone to my home to sticks. Hope everybody's having a good Sunday and it's showing up good weekend. But Lord of mercy, it feels like it's been a month of Sundays since I talked to you and y'all. But I'm here to tell you over here in East Central Mississippi, it is showing sure up cold. It was 17 degrees this morning. And we warmed up to right about 39 degrees right now. Before we get started on today's video, I'm always going to say that if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you're returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, I sure enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is we're going to do us a product review. It's been one year since I've been using my Panda portable dryer. I've had quite a few comments and questions about it. So give me a second. We finna get off in this shop where it's warm and we're going to commence to talking about it. Dan, has it really been a year? Yes, it's actually been over a year since I've been using uh, this dryer. It's been working really good for me. I did a video on this dryer when I first purchased it. And what I gather is there's a lot of folks that have some questions about this Panda. Uh, questions, concerns, and actually some problems. So what I did was I went back to the video, revisited it, looked at all of the comments that I got, and I, I actually still get comments on this dryer and there was about nine questions and comments uh, that come up pretty regularly. So what I did was wrote them all down and today hopefully we can address all of these questions and maybe uh, help you and y'all if you decide to get this uh, Panda portable dryer maybe it'll help you make an informed decision on whether or not it's going to work for you. So let's get into it. Okay one of the big comments and this was a comment Dan you do, you bought this dryer, you do, you're going to do a review on it, but we ain't never seen you dry anything in your dryer. So guess what? Look there, I got some stuff we finna dry. All right, here we go. Got the clothes in the dryer. Next question that came up quite often, Dan, can you use dry sheets in this dryer? Yes, you can. Dry sheet. but it has to be vented outside. Here's my dryer, got a four inch hose, cut me a hole in one of my doors, and I actually have a vent that actually pushes all that air to the outside of my shop. So yes, you can use dryer sheets in this, this portable dryer, and I would imagine any portable dryer, but you have to make sure that you vent the dryer outside. If you want to put the dryer outside and just let it run outside, that'll work. If you have a hose such as that, like mine, yeah, it's got to be vented outside. You can vent the dryer inside all day long uh, using a inside vent kit, but you just can't use dryer sheets. Them dryer sheets are going to throw off chemicals, they're going to sling off into the air, and of course you don't want you or your family breathing any of that. Next question that comes up quite often, Dan. My dryer stops and starts about every five or 10 minutes. It just stops and then it starts again. What happens is this dryer will run in once a certain rotation for X amount of minutes. It'll stop and then it'll reverse its rotation. And it does that the whole uh, drying cycle. Mine does it all the time. The reason why it does that is because it is, it's a way to stop your clothes from being wrinkled. It spins one way, stops, spins the other. So those clothes are being slung around clockwise and then counterclockwise. And yeah, my clothes have never come out wrinkled since it's been doing it. In addition to that last question, uh, even though I have wrinkle guard turned off, mine does the same. I don't use the wrinkle guard function on this machine. It just automatically does it on its own. So if it ain't broke, I ain't gonna fix it. Another good question, Dan. My dryer makes a loud squeaking noise whenever it starts. If I had to guess, you probably have way too many clothes in your dryer. This specific dryer will hold, or it, the company claims that it's good for 13 pounds of clothes. 
Now, I don't know what 13 pounds of clothes is, but we have to use some common sense on this one. If you have, if you wash your clothes and you put your clothes in a clothes basket to bring it to your dryer, and that clothes basket is all you can do to pick it up, to move it, to bring it to your dryer, there's probably too much clothes in there. What happens is when you put a lot of clothes in this dryer, and let's keep in mind this is a compact dryer. Here we go, mine just stopped. Now it's going to reverse the opposite direction. But anyways, this is a compact dryer. It's not a full-size dryer. You load that drum up with clothes and you go to start it up. Yeah, something's probably going to start squealing, the belts, because it's too much weight in the drum. And when it goes to turn, it's probably putting a lot of stress on them belts. So that's, if I had to guess, I would say that would be one of the main culprits of a belt squealing. Dan, do you use the smart mode on your dryer? No, I do not. Actually, right here, at this button right here, it says smart mode right there. Actually, I lied. I did use it once because I wanted to test it out. What that mode is, there's actually sensors inside of the machine, probably surrounding the drum, that monitor the moisture levels of your clothes while they're drying. I did run a smart mode cycle and I also did just a, a regular time cycle like I normally do. I can't really tell a difference and I can't see where there would be any cost savings. So all I do is when I turn my, my dryer on, I hit time, I go hour and a half, hit start, and just let it run. Most of the time within 50 minutes my clothes are dry, but I just use an hour and 30 minutes because it's easier. Okay, here's one that it has come up really, really uh, a lot. Dan, why does it take so long for my clothes to dry? Well, let's think about it now. This dryer is a 110 volt portable dryer, which means it's not like a laundromat dryer or a, a big dryer that you may have in your house that runs off a 220 volt. This is a 110, so it's gonna take a little bit longer to dry your clothes. The thing that I've always done since I've been using this dryer is I just don't load the dryer up with a bunch of clothes. If uh, you know I have a pair of jeans and five shirts, that's what I put in there. The less clothes that you could put in there, the more efficiently it's gonna dry. And actually, you could, you could dry multiple batches of clothes in less time if you do it in batches, if that makes any sense. All right, here's another one. Dan, can I put this dryer outside? Yeah, you probably could if you had a way to shelter the unit possibly because you got to remember this is all electronics. I would imagine that this is not going to be uh, rain resistant or moisture resistant at all, but all of this is electronic. If you could cover it, maybe. I keep my dryer inside personally. Can you put it outside, use it, and vent it outside, and then bring it back inside? Yeah, that's what I would advise. All right, here's another good question. Dan, how much does it cost you to run this dryer? Does it make your electricity bill go up? In the year and several months that I've been running this dryer, and I use this dryer maybe once a week or something like that, I have not noticed a spike in my electricity bill in the last year and a couple of months. Now let's keep in mind that I only use this dryer once a week, normally on Sundays, because that's when I wash my clothes. So it's not something that I use every day. It's just gonna be something I use once a week. So I guess it would depend on your mileage and how much, uh, how many clothes or how many times you wash clothes. That's gonna be, that's gonna actually tell you whether or not it's efficient or not. Uh, and, and then of course you'd be able to tell if there's a spike in the electricity bill, just dependent on how much you use the dryer. But for me, no, has not made my electricity bill go up at all. Well, all right, there you have it. Pretty much a Q&A on the Panda portable dryer that I've been running over here at my home in the sticks probably for the last uh, year and a couple of months. Uh, on the review side, for me, uh, it was probably the best money that I've ever spent I have had, I've not had any problems, knock on wood, uh, with this dryer. Uh, probably because it's not something that I use every day. It's something I use once a week. So I haven't, I haven't had anything break on it or any malfunctions uh, thus far with this machine. Would I buy it again if this one ever went out? Yes, I would. I would buy another pan to dry in a heartbeat. 
The only thing that I would probably do is I would probably buy uh, the, the little bit bigger version of it. I think it's 15 or 20 pound capacity. That'd be the only thing uh, that I would do differently if I ever had to buy another dryer, which I hope I don't have to. Hopefully I've answered uh, some of the questions that folks have asked of me uh, concerning this dryer. I would say the best thing to do is if you're having uh, that many problems with this Panda, and I'm sorry to hear that you are, is to actually contact uh, Panda. The best, the, the best way to do that is, I found, is to actually get on Amazon, look up the dryer, look in the comments, because everybody's gonna leave comments, good and bad, about uh, this dryer. So maybe somebody might have put the uh, number in the comments for somebody that's actually looking for it. So again, I hope everybody's having a show enough good Sunday, and I hope everybody stays safe today amid this crisis that is still going on. If you uh, like this video, go and give it a thumbs up. They help. If you haven't subscribed to the Homer 6 channel, Lord of Mercy. Y'all need to come on over here and give old Dan a look because I'm always doing stuff. With that being said, you know it's coming Dan Refresh show enough. Always gonna say it. Don't let nobody do your shine. And I mean nobody. You show enough to get your shine on. It's important. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.